Yeva Pilsner. Short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. Believe me, it is hotter than a Turkish wrestler's jockstrap out there, and I'm sweltering in here. So I've decided to do what the Germans do. No, not invade Poland. To have some of this. Now this is the Jever Pilsner. And it was recommended to me by a mate in Germany. He said it's his summer Pilsner or summer drink. That he drinks on holidays, so it's very refreshing indeed. He says it's one of the best pilsners he's tried. And I decided to get some and give it a go. Immediate alarm bell, it's in a green bottle. So let's hope it's not skunked. But uh, they've got quite a good reputation. I've heard from a few people that this is quite a good one. Now, this brewery's been going since 1848, and they're based in a place called Yeva, funny enough. And that's in a place called Friesland, which is up north in Lower Saxony. I think it's right on the coast. And it's also a holiday destination as well, which is quite interesting. But I really tr had to try hard to get some information about that. The website is all in German. There is nothing there about the malt that they use. There is nothing there about the hops that they use. It's got the bittering units, funny enough, and it's faulty, which for a lager is, I don't know, a little touch on the... On the high side, normally I'd be expecting sort of 30, 35, something like that. But that's 40 IBUs. So it could be quite a bit of finish on this. You'd sort of expect that from a North German Pilsner anyway. Right, it confirms to the Reinheitsgebot, which is another good sign. And it basically doesn't tell you much more about it. So let's stop guessing. Let's stop gassing and let's investigate the beer. Five hundred ml bottle, four point nine percent. I think they do the four point nine percent. You find a lot of them German pilsners are under the five percent ABV, and I, I think that's something to do with the tax. I know it is over here. I think they are higher the ABV. Possibly wherever you go in the world, you get taxed more. So that's why they've done that, which is fair enough. And that really is about all there is to it. Uh, of course, they're owned by company called Radeberger. They're a German brewing conglomerate and they own quite a lot of German brewers and I think they're in turn owned by Dr. Ertiker. You know the fellow that does the pizzas. He's the doctor of pizzas in Germany. Let's get this open and see what's going on. Right, come hither. I am absolutely gasping for this. I am so hot. I'm tired as well. I went out last night, thought I'd have a nice, went out with a mate, thought I'd have a nice ride down to Hearn Bay in Kent, closed the motorway, ended up doing over 100 miles via Dover to get back home. Honestly, it was an absolute fucking shit show. I didn't get until midnight, so I was a bit tired. I was up at six this morning as well. I must be fucking mad. There is the cap. Nice silver, sorry, nice gold cap there in the collection. Let's get it into the glass. Now I've got two Pilsner glasses on order, but they still ain't turned up and they were supposed to come on Thursday, so heads will roll. Oh, here is in the glass. I'm just, I'm, as I say, I don't sniff beer out of the bottle anymore. There's no point. I'm fed up just getting nosefuls of sulfur and dodgy aromas, which put me off. So I'm just going to do it out of here. Well, that does smell clean and refreshing. Quite spicy too. And there's some cereal grain coming through there and all from, from the malts. Yeah, quite sweet. Oh, I could really get the spice on that though. Really forthright. Which is sort of what you'd expect from a 
as I say, from a German Pilsner. Characteristics of a German Pilsner, dry finish, quite big spice on the hops. The malt can go one of two ways. It can be right in the background and the, the hops just come straight forward, or it's a nice balance of the two. I've tried German Pilsners from various areas. The Flensburger, for example, was really balanced. Not the Flensburger Gold, didn't think much of that. The Flensburger Pilsner was really good, as was the Warsteiner. This smells pretty similar to them. There's a fair bit of malt on that as well though. So yeah, it does smell interesting. And this is lovely and cold, it's just come out of the fridge. And I think this first mouthful is not gonna to touch the sides because it is really, really warm out there. It must be up in the 90s. And for what that is in Celsius, I don't know, and I don't want to know. I get, I get a lot of shit for people saying, oh, you know, you've got to get with the times and you've got to start using Celsius and not stop using Fahrenheit. And I say to them, right, how much do you weigh? And they say, oh, 12 stone. I say, how tall are you? Oh, five foot nine, five foot 11. And they're using imperial measurements as well. So when they stop doing that, I'll start using Celsius. So there you go. Anyway, let's get this down the hatch. Zumwoll, as they say in Germany. Hmm, what a bit of finish on that. God, that is really bitter. Now, so, sorry, when I say bitter, I mean it's bitter for a pilsner. And it leaves like a herbal, a spice and earthy finish on the end of it. The malt, you get a little bit in the mouth, but this is all about the hops. Mmm, very dry as well, but quite clean as well. And it reminds me of Beck's. Now, not the shit that gets brewed over here. I mean, the good Beck's. Beck's that's brewed in Germany has got, got quite, a, quite a similar sort of flavor profile to it. However, the hops on this are just even more at the forefront. And it really does leave a bit of finish on your mouth. Now, as, again, as I say, it's not like a, you know, a West Coast IPA, which is just citrus bitterness all the way through. For a lager, this is probably one of the driest you're gonna get. But I quite like it. And it's, as I say, it's in the same sort of vein as Beck's, Warsteiner, the Flensburger Gold was pretty similar too. And I'll tell you something, on a hot day like this, this is just the ticket. Mm. Yeah, that's quite nice. Very refreshing. So what's the verdict on Yafer? Very nice indeed. It's got all the good things a, G a North German Pilsner should have. Very earthy and spicy hops, noble hops, possibly SARS hops, but something in, in that sort of vein. You've got some malt there and it does come through in the aroma, but it's not big. And the finish is as you would expect from a German Pilsner, but this is slightly higher. It's got a ton of hoppy, herbal, earthy, spicy flavors on that. And that finish just lasts and lasts, and it's very dry as well. Makes you wanna drink more of it. And if you have it straight out of the fridge like I've done, it is super refreshing especially on a day like this when it is absolutely roasting out there. I'm gonna give this to the dog and shut him up barking. No, I'm not. <laughs> By the way, I know I'm, I do joke about this, but please don't give beer to dogs. The hops are poisonous to him. 
the alpha acids in them, they can't digest them, they will throw up everywhere and generally feel like shit. So don't do it. I know it, you know, some people, you see them in the pubs giving their dogs a little ashtray full of beer and all that. Don't fucking do it. You can buy beer for dogs, give them that if you really want to give them beer, but be sensible and don't give him beer. When he shuts up, I'll tell you how much I'm going to give this. And he shut up. I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. That's very nice. Now, if I was drinking that in winter, I probably wouldn't have given it as much. But the weather's right for this. The flavour's right for this type of weather. And yeah, this should be drunk on a warm day. It should be savoured. Make sure you haven't got work the next day because you are just going to keep drinking and drinking this because it's quite moorish. It leaves that nice dry finish that makes you just keep, you know, shoving it down your Gregory. So yeah, I'm going to give it 8 out of 10 and I'm going to recommend it. And remember, beer is working class champagne.